Wow, Wally here. This is it. This is the final piece of firewood for winter 2023 slash 24. Guys, this is a bit of pine that I've been storing in the woods here, just sort of stacked loosely in between those trees actually uh, and letting it dry over the summer. I'm going to just split it and stack it and split it and throw it in the truck and take it up and stack it. Stay tuned. There is no point taking it to the stump. I might as well just take the stump to it. Guys, Fisker's X25. Stay. Good ducky. Straight through the naughty side. Guys, this is all softwood. The reason why, the reason why it's not stored up in the log shed already is that I wanted to make sure that I had nothing else to go in, right? So this stuff will go in last because it'll be burnt in about a month ish. It's, it's the 10th of September now. Uh, this video will probably go out today as well because I'm only back from holidays and uh, I'm way behind uh, So we're, we're in the middle of a bit of a funny weather spell it's Supposed to be starting to get cold and wet and autumny, but it's like 25 degrees today or something so as you can tell by my shorts and t-shirt You just know that's going to be a hard one. That's probably a stump piece as well. <laughs> you 
you don't you just know don't you you just know it's just gonna not work out well it's just not gonna split it's definitely a bit awkward or now getting into some crappy wood now lots of knots and that's the thing about this paint it's full of knots Normally I cut them out. This is why I cut them out, guys. You should be asking. No. I'm not going to just be burning this, I do have some other stuff thrown in among it as well. Uh, that's one barrel. One barrel is roughly about a week's burning, but not with this stuff. You know, if, if, if this was beech or something or sycamore I was splitting, I'd be saying one, one barrel is a week. But uh, not with this. Wouldn't be getting a week out of that. Split stuff, yay! You can have that piece, Bruno. Right, let's dump this bar. <laughs> Guys. I kill I killed my chopping block. Seems alright. It's burnable. Poor old thing. Oh maybe not the middle bit. Poor old chopping block, eh? There's some of that will burn. Definitely. Let's see. Oh, not that bad. Look at that. It's like soup mixed with gravy. I might keep it down here to keep the midges away. Guys, I'm going to take this up the road. I'm going to stack it. I'm going to see what I have. One, two, three, four. This, this is what we're looking at for 2023, 24, which is, which, is, which is coming up in a couple of months. So this is my fifth row here. So there's four. This is one, two, three, four rows. Uh, this, is, this is my four foot mark uh, about here. So each one is almost eight foot high by eight foot long that is the dimensions of it somebody else can figure out how, how much wood is there but this is my front row here which i didn't put on last year now i did have enough last year but barely i did have to no did i have enough last time not last year it would have been the year before guys so i have two wood piles so this is for this year this year i will put in the wood for the year after so this wood has been in here for quite some time uh, and it's a good mix there's a good lot of eucalyptus in there there's a lot of this is all eucalyptus here there's a lot of sycamore beech i'm going to say 90 percent hardwood so what i'm doing is i'm throwing some softwood in in the front here guys because it's generally not going to be that low of a temperature 
Do you know what I mean? But in, in the first couple of months of, of uh, autumn, which will be the end of September, October ish. Guys, what the hell is this? What is this wet stuff? Anywho. That's it. No. One more. Guys, that's it. That's my firewood for 2023 slash 24, guys. Now, if I do if I do get a whole big lot of firewood between in the next couple of months, what I'll do is I'll actually split and store some just behind us in my like what I call my overflow. <laughs> my overflow wood shed. <laughs> I'm such a wood nerd. <laughs> anyway, look. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty.